1960, the school board chose 17 blacks to be integrated to an all-white school, Central High. Only 9 out of 17 black students actually attended to, to Central High. The policeman picks up the kids to go to Central High. At the last minute, he changed his position. I have therefore in accordance with the solemn responsibility and the oath of my office taken the following action. In September 1957, they tried to go into the school, but the police turned them around. First day of school, National Guardsmen were drawn up in formation to prevent any Negro students from entering the building. In September, the Supreme Court ruled that integration in Little Rock must continue. Your rights and freedoms rest upon the certainty that the President and the Executive Branch of Government will support and ensure the carrying out of the decisions of the federal courts. Twenty days later, the U.S. Army escorted the students into the school. The kids were harassed. Years later, only just one of the Little Rock Nine graduated from Central High. In 1999, all were awarded a Congression Gold Medal. Following the Brown decision, the Little Rock, Arkansas School Board Four black college students who went into World Wars to make a change in racism. There comes a time when you have to stand up. For Joseph McNeil, Franklin McCain, and their two college dorm mates, that time was February 1st, 1960. They were trying to change history by sitting at the whites only counter. Gonna leave until you serve us, so we sat there and were known as sitting. Chris refused to serve them, and when they would not leave, she called the police. The policeman came in and did not know what to do, so he left. The white woman got out of her seat and whispered to the Greensboro floor, I am proud of you. An elderly white woman, probably uh, in her, I'd say, 70s or 80s. She whispered in a calm voice, Boys, I am so proud of you. Blacks and whites joined together to protest and do more sit-ins. A few days later, more and more blacks and whites came to Woolworths to demolish racism. Greensboro Four had inspired sit-ins in 78 cities across the South and it motivated other college students to become freedom riders. In the end, they were successful. Woolworths desegregated six months later. 1961, train stations and bus stations still had separate areas for blacks and whites. Martin Luther King spoke to President Kennedy, but the president did not fix the problem. On May 4, 1961, a group of people took two buses from Washington, D.C. and entered the Deep South. Some of the rest stops, the black students sat in white-only waiting rooms to protest segregation. Things were pre peaceful until they reached Alabama. Alabama, an angry mob attacked the bus. They firebombed the bus. They thought the trip was over. Uh, I uh, got uh, beaten twice yesterday uh, by hoodlums, once aboard the bus and once in the terminal in Birmingham. Battered and wounded, the protesters continued on with the new bus. Martin Luther 
Luther King and A. Philip Randolph met to discuss a big march on Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. By planes, trains, and automobiles, over a quarter million people came to support the March on Washington. around the National Mall. They stopped to look at the Washington Monument while Martin Luther King met with the President. In the afternoon, people gathered to hear the famous I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. I have a dream that there will be no wars. I have a dream I will help the people. I have a dream that animals and people will be able to live a safe and sustainable life. I have a dream that everybody will have a place to live. When I, I have a dream that there will be no wars. I have a dream of world equality. I have a dream that one day people will be more careful about animals in their habitat. I have a dream that someday we will have a nonviolent world. Camera. I have a dream that there will be more world peace. I have a dream that no one runs hungry. I have a dream that there will be no littering. I have, a, I have a dream that everybody should have a comfortable place to live. I have a dream that no one pollutes the environment. I have a dream that everyone in the world will have access to clean water. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, but when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. Spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. people didn't have the right to vote. A lot of people thought this was unfair, so Martin Luther King organized a march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. In Selma, Alabama in the 1960s, more than half of the city was African American. Yet only about one of every 50 eligible black voters was registered. Black people who tried to register to vote were often given impossible questions to answer or asked to pay a poll tax they couldn't afford. After six blocks, the people reached the Edmund Pettus Bridge. There, they were attacked by police and they had to turn around and go back. I hear them striking people. I tried to run home as fast as I could. Hosea Williams picked me up and I told him to put me down. He wasn't running fast enough. On their second march, they re when they reached the Edmund Pettus Bridge, they knelt down in prayer, then they turned around and marched back. Where well, they were again met by troopers. They then kneeled and a prayer was said. 
time, the president sent the National Guard to help them. There, when they climbed the Edmund Pettus Bridge, this time they finally crossed. They marched for day and through night until they finally reached Montgomery. Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma to Montgomery, camping out at night and singing songs of freedom. This time, National Guardsmen protected them. By the time they reached the capital, 25,000 people had joined the march. This is the president in Congress asking for a bill to be made. At times, history and fate meet at a single time, in a single place, to shape a turning point in man's unending search for freedom shall overcome learn is that you can make a difference if you really believe that it's right sometimes it's not really fair but people just believe in it so they do it but it's not really fair see something like that, you should change it. Looking back on the past and see the changes that have been made, compare and feel good about how their country is going. Their history went on and how lucky they are to not live the, all the hard times. I think that they should study them because it's an important part of our history and so they can learn about what all the changes and what has happened to um, all the blacks back. I learned that you can't judge somebody how they look. You have to, like, meet them and see what their personalities are. Yeah.